Universal is becoming the leading theme park operator in every corner of the world, with constant additions, huge new theme parks and new resorts. Currently, they are nearly doubling the size of their biggest resort in Orlando with Epic Universe, their biggest US theme park, and three new hotels that together will transform how people travel and spend their time in the theme park capital of the world, Orlando, Florida. One of their biggest investments ever though was on the other side of the world, in the bustling city of Beijing, China. The Universal Beijing Resort was a ginormous investment and came with a reported 6.5 billion US dollar price tag. With this number, Comcast, Universal's parent company, was able to bring together a spectacular theme park. Two big hotels with more than 2,500 rooms, a shopping and entertainment district and lots and lots of room to expand. Today, let's quickly go over the troubled start of the resort and where it will go from now, focusing on the original master plan that promises a very bright and interesting future. Oh boy! Before you begin, if you enjoy my content and this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as I upload weekly videos on theme parks from the past to the future. If you want to go the extra mile, consider becoming a channel member. You can find me over at Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky, and in our Discord community where I'm most active. Links are in the description. With that, let's dig in. Comcast CEO Brian Roberts announced that they were developing a theme park resort for mainland China. This came after many years of conversations between Chinese officials and the American company. Disney had built and opened Hong Kong Disneyland several years ago, and the mouse was now focused on mainland China as they were in the process of constructing a huge resort in the city of Shanghai to open in 2016. Universal also saw the immense potential that a resort could have, and so went ahead and conversations soon evolved into deal-making. The Universal Beijing Resort would be co-owned by Beijing Shouhuan Cultural Tourism Investment Co. and Universal Parks and Resorts. Ground was broken in 2016, the same year Shanghai Disneyland opened. The opening was projected for 2020. As years went by and construction grew in a spectacular way, the world was affected by the COVID-19 pandemic in the year Comcast was planning on unveiling their major new tourist attraction. The opening of the resort was then delayed a year and it did so in 2021 to rave reviews. The Universal Beijing Resort was built big and yet it was just the first planned phase of the master plan. For exploring this, let's see what's now present in the park and around it. After either entering the property via the metro or by leaving the car in the parking lot, guests are greeted by Universal City Walk. This is the shopping, dining and entertainment district well known to anyone who has visited a Universal theme park. Filled with amazing shops, restaurants and the Universal City Walk cinema, there's a lot to do even before setting foot inside the park. Two hotels are available, the Universal Studios Grand Hotel, which serves as the grand entrance to the park, and the Nuo Resort, inspired by Chinese architecture. The Universal Studios Beijing theme park covers around 50 hectares, not including the very big expansion plots that bring that number up by around 8 more hectares. The theme park boasts 7 lands that surround the central lake, similarly to Islands of Adventure. This is something you may notice if you're familiar with the other Universal theme parks. Studios Beijing mixes a lot together, almost feeling like Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios in certain points, but made huge. Hollywood Boulevard, Minion Land, Wizarding World of Harry Potter with Hogsmeade, Kung Fu Panda Land of Awesomeness, Transformers Metro Base, Water World and Jurassic World Isla Nublar are all the lands you can find here. These are packed with original rides, but also have their own share of clones, such as the Hulk coaster now themed to Transformers, or Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey and Flight of the Hippogriff. So what was phase one of the Universal Beijing Resort project? 
Well, first of all, the complete preparation of the land, from the removal of structures to the digging and expanding the waterways in a similar fashion to that of Universal Orlando. Transportation developments with new roads, bus stations and the metro line extension that can take you all the way from Beijing to the park. The creation of the parking structures and then the construction of a theme park, two hotels, city walk and all the logistics and backstage areas needed to operate it all. A very big team member hotel was built in one of the corners of the owned land to house all the people that were called Universal Beijing their job. Phase 1 was completed in 2021 and opened later that year. At the same time, Phase 2 was already being prepared by the company and this is where things get really interesting. What is there to know about the next phases of development of this resort? To answer this, we can try and listen to the latest rumors but most importantly focus on the master plan developed by Universal. First things first, park expansions. While the master plans don't actually show any park expansion, some plans name the available plots and that may just give us a look into how they may be used in the future. In one side we have a 1.5 hectare plot of land seemingly reserved for Transformers. Two smaller plots are reserved for the Hollywood Boulevard expansion coming in at one hectare together. Then we enter the bigger ones. Two three hectare areas reserved for both Minion Land and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now, these bigger ones could very well be two new lands. I think that the Minion one at least should become a new land altogether to bring new IPs into the park. There are already a lot of Harry Potter expansions possible for this location, ranging from Diagon Alley to Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure. There are a lot of very famous Universal IPs in China that will be very profitable in the park such as the Fast and Furious franchise that is absolutely huge in the country. That said, if all these plots were to be filled, the back of the park still remains clear of expansion, but it would be slightly harder to build one here as this location is used to launch the fireworks for park shows. With that out of the way, let's focus on the next thing, new parks. Can a theme park resort really be called a theme park resort with just one park? Well, technically yes, but a two theme park resort is a lot more exciting. This is exactly what Universal thought when developing everything. So in the master plans, we can actually see a second theme park. The layout and the park itself may not be much of a novelty for you and that makes sense because this appears to be a very similar image to that of Universal Studios Florida. So, are they copying that park and bringing it to China intact? Not really, no. It appears that they use that as a base model to showcase what could once be built in this location. It would make no sense to have two Universal Studios theme parks side by side as the current one already handles much of what can be found in the other, including the Hollywood theme. The area reserved for the second theme park is very similar to the other park in terms of scale, but slightly smaller coming in at just over 45 hectares, whereas the other goes beyond 50. So what could possibly be built here as a second park? Well, I'll leave that up to Universal Creative as they tend to do a much better job than me, but it appears plans include a heavy Chinese influence as Duan Qiang, president of the China Tourism Association, said that in the future we will also build a theme park with Chinese culture IP at its core. The purpose of introducing foreign brands is not simply introduction but by digesting its technical and cultural creativity. The second park is filled with possibilities and to put things in perspective, Epic Universe is about the size of the land it will be built on. A second theme park isn't everything though. Oh no, connected to the park hub appears to be a major water park very similar to Volcano Bay. Once again, it appears this may be just a placeholder to show the possibilities. The weather in Beijing is quite different to that of Orlando. Here the summer is hot, but the winters are very cold, with snow not being a stranger. That said, I believe that a mix of indoor and outdoor attractions could happen here where during the winter only a part of the park is open and during the warmer months the whole park. Volcano Bay is one of the most immersive and impressive water parks 
anywhere and another one of those wouldn't hurt. Alongside the second theme park, the expansions and the water park, something else needs to be built and that's hotels. Currently, Universal Beijing has the two hotels we already went over, but taking a look at the master plan, we can see that the resort would have a lot more rooms. Four to five new hotels appear in the plans, covering a lot of the unused land we see today. Smaller changes include the construction of a second parking structure to be able to accommodate more cars. Universal Beijing opened with a lot of trouble, where China was heavily influenced by the pandemic. Since then, revenue and the number of guests has constantly been rising, but only this year will we be able to see the full potential of the resort. Phase 2 isn't just a dream either. Just last September, it was announced that construction work on this second phase is set to begin in 2025. Because the resort is co-owned by Universal and the government, the two parties are interested in expanding and this will happen as Chinese officials plan on investing in Beijing's tourism infrastructure. Now, being in 2024, that date is approaching quickly and I can't wait to hear what comes next. Universal has also shared quite an interest in coming to the European continent and if you're interested too, make sure to check this video to learn more. Many thanks for sticking out to the end. Did you know about these huge plans for a Chinese resort? Let me know down below. And now, as always, thank you for watching, and that's a wrap.